Right, now, it's become blatantly obvious over about the last week and a half that not only is Speckle at the back there, very definitely a boy, so's Peggy. These two little girls that I got to keep, uh, keep Freckle company are both roosters and they can't stay. I'm going to have to try and rehome them and failing that they'll have to be eaten. Uh, I'd much rather rehome them if possible. But obviously that leaves us in a situation where little Freckly is on her own and uh, we're back to square one with the poor girl. I can't introduce her to the big girls on her own. It won't end well. Uh, so, look what I did. We got these two silly little things. Two eight week old Polish hens with their big bobble heads. Uh, the introduction's going okay so far. I'm very, very pleased that I managed to find two little hens of exactly the right size, exactly the right age. Over the next few weeks, the plan is that these three will become a five. All going well so far. There's a little bit of const consternation going on. Of course there is. But uh, after a few weeks of these two integrating with Freckle and before these two boys start crowing, uh, by the time these two have to get rehomed or possibly eaten, uh, Freckle has got herself two new friends to go and join the big girls with. Here comes Peggy. What's Peggy going to do? I shouldn't call him Peggy anymore, should I? That's going quite well. They're all eating together. Freckle's the nervous one. Oh, and a uh, speckle back there. That was very nearly a, a cluck rather than a cheap. I wonder how long it is before he starts crowing. Speckle's out too. They're all having a little forage together. Come on, Speckle. I wouldn't get too acquainted with them, mate, because you're not going to be here much longer. As far as I know, these Polish hens lay blue eggs. So uh, that'll be a, a nice new one for me. I've never had blue eggs before. It's just started raining. Right, I'm going to get undercover and watch these from a little distance. Keep an eye on proceedings. Once it stops raining, I'll, uh, I'll come and have a check and I'll have a mow. Tip of the week. If you live in a really hot country and you don't get enough rain and you really desperately need some rain, just plan on getting your mower out, and it will rain. I know, Shirley. More of the little blighters. Oh, you've not heard them ones before, have you? Anyway, it's all for the best, because that little speckle was eyeing you up already. Right, well, speckle can keep the name speckle, because that seems to be a... Uh, a gender fluid name, I would guess, for a chicken. Uh, now, Peggy can't be called Peggy, so actually, Peggy just came out and had a little go at the new girl. It's not a proper go, just a little, a little grumble and a peck. So, Peggy is now Pecky. Obviously, Freckle can remain Freckle. Uh, now, this little one here, I think I'm going to call this one Minstrel. And uh, this one here, I'm going to call her Babs, because she looks like Barbara Windsor, circa 1977, in the Carry On films when she had that big bouffant haircut. I've actually had sleepless nights this week, worrying about this situation. Um, I mean, you've got the problem that Freckle is back to square one, um, and potentially in a situation where she's got to be introduced to the three big girls alone, which would just be a disaster. Uh, and also, the 
two poor boys here. Um, I don't want to have to eat them, really. I'd much rather rehome them. Uh, if they have to be got rid of, as in got rid of, uh, I will eat them rather than just chuck them out and leave them. Um, I'm going to try and rehome them. I've got a couple of people in mind, but I'm just, you know, I'm fully aware that nobody wants roosters. They could be really difficult to get rid of. Uh, there's a few people I can ask. I'll ask around this week. Um, maybe I'll put a notice up at work. Uh, people come and go there all the time who've got chickens and whatnot. Uh, free to a good home, you know. Uh, and Speckle in particular is a really nice looking, nice looking bird. Uh, anyway, uh, that's stage one out of the way. That's 50% less to worry about because Freckle now isn't going to have to be introduced on her own. She has got two little companions. Um, all I've got less, left to lose sleep over now is uh, the two lads there. Uh, right, I'm going to just hang around this afternoon for a little while. It's pouring with rain so I can't see myself getting much done. Um, I'm just going to hang around and see how things go. And uh, hopefully, it's, it's going well so far, hopefully they'll, they'll be okay tonight and I'll be back in the morning before work just to see, see how they're all doing. Uh, well, what a saga, eh? Um, the trials and tribulations of poor little Freckle. But I've put in a lot of effort. I've done everything right that I can possibly do. Uh, I think that they'll be okay. I just hope that I can find homes for the two lads there. Uh, okay, right, well, we'll have a little update on these in a couple of days' time. See you later. I see, I see, I see, boy.